It's very difficult to change your life if you don't really feel like it. You know, if you don't feel well or you want something better in your relationship or you want to be healthier, but every day when you wake up, there isn't really that motivation to do it. And you're tired and you're uninspired and you don't really feel that well. Well, recently I was going through one of those phases again and I decided to do a weird experiment and I thought I would share this experiment with you because it helped me a lot. So I posted this weird ad on Craigslist that kind of looked like I was gonna become um, a porno director. Not really, but that's kind of what it looked like. I wanna show you it, check this out, all right? So I posted this sad boy looking ad and it said, <laughs> looking for my muse and videography help. I wanna read this first sentence because it's like little whiny boy looking for his mommy to help him, I don't know, pay his rent or something. Hi, I have two businesses based on two YouTube channels. Unfortunately, after several years, I have lost my muse. I'm not quite sure where she went. The excitement for my content has been very hard to come by. So I'm trying creative collaborative ideas to take my content to the next level. Whenever I post a creative ad for creatives, like I need creative work, I get like 50 to 75 emails a day. Like if I post an ad looking for a photographer, but this time I only got two emails and the first one came after two hours. And I wanted to read it to you because it was actually pretty deep and it was pretty profound and pretty, I'm grateful for it. So this guy Rob emailed me and this is what his email said. It was as if a guardian angel had answered my question and I want to read it to you. He said, it sounds to me like you're burned out, which can easily happen, especially with something like YouTube. Now that also tells me you're probably doing it for the wrong reasons now. Maybe it wasn't always like that, but from what you're describing, that's how it sounds. It happened to me with music and pursuing a music career for years. One day I had a complete identity crisis, like I just woke up and realized I didn't even want to do it anymore, and it had made me a very depressed and unhappy person. How can you expect anyone to be excited about what you're creating if you're not excited about it? It's your project. Maybe it's time to switch it up and find something else because hiring someone to be your muse is actually shielding you from your own muse and removing accountability from your own creativity. Sounds like you need to take a break from the boring routine of how you've been filming and shoot something outside the box for nothing more than curiosity, experimentation, and failing. Some things to try, and he gave me a few ideas, but then he said, create something that helps inspire people to get out of the funk you're currently in. Hang in there, dude, Rob. So this made me think about a couple things. One big idea and one big experiment you can do that I'm currently doing to help me figure out where the hell my muse went. So the first thing I thought about is how almost everything in your life requires continuous evolution, right? Human beings are usually not that happy, even when we're doing something that is pleasurable, unless there's growth. You know, doing anything that's just fun over time diminishes itself. But anything, a relationship, like think about how crazy it is. The person you were so in love with or was so in love with you five years ago now may not even like you. You know, the person you married that you loved may now 20 years later be someone that you actually hate. There has to be some kind of evolution. Your work, that was something you found really personally fulfilling or at the very least good enough. A few years ago, you may be so tired of it now and you just want to quit. You want to be retired. You never want to work again. That friend group that was so comfortable in your life. Now, maybe you've been into self-growth and you're reading books on how to get better and you're traveling and you're upgrading and those people don't even resonate with you anymore. So it's hard to be really, really alive and really, really happy if there isn't continual evolution. Now, if you're thinking continual evolution sounds tiring, like, damn, that sounds tiring. I'm always supposed to be pushing it in the gym. I'm always supposed to be pushing the envelope of my love life. I'm always supposed to be pushing the envelope of my friends, my career. How the hell do you do this all at the same time, all the time? That sounds like a recipe for burnout. And that right there, I think, is the fundamental question. So I wanna propose a little experiment for you, something that I'm playing with myself. So I think keeping in mind this idea of continual evolution requires one main exercise, and it's really always chasing excitement. So am I always moving in the direction of something that is more exciting, more new, more fresh? Like, it requires some kind of lateral or different thinking. Right? Because presumably the reason I'm feeling uninspired is because of something that I've brought into my life. Right? It could be I'm doing the same thing. I'm on autopilot. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. It could be all those things. But 
is this exercise I wanna show you here that I have on my wall. And this is from Susie Batiz, founder of Poopery. And she talks about there being these two big things that you should chase in your life. The biggest thing is the feeling of being alive. Not success or failure, not money, but the feeling of actually being alive. And so she says she tracks two things, resonance, dissonance, right? Resonance is when one plus one equals 10. Dissonance is when you're with someone and you feel exhausted all the time around them, or when you show up to work and you're dead. Resonance, some signs of it are you feel energized, excited, turned on, you're skipping in your steps, you experiment, you feel good, you feel alive. When you're in dissonance, you feel like a victim. You feel like you're fatigued, you feel tension, you feel heavy, you're in protection mode, you're not taking risks, you feel low energy and like life is against you. And so what I've been playing with really the last few months is this idea of resonance or dissonance. And every day I bust out this little journal in the morning, I sit right there and I think, what about my day is resonance or dissonance? Based on just those two things, do I feel more energized or more drained? Even on a micro level, drink a coffee today or don't have a coffee, have oatmeal or have chicken breast for breakfast, go on a walk or work a 10 hour day, go on vacation for the next three weeks or hunker down and see a lot of extra patients and create more videos. That's my experiment. And I think maybe if you try this, following resonance or dissonance, it can maybe help you find your muse again. Anyway, that's the experiment I'm trying for a year and I'll keep you guys posted.